Hello and welcome to Fully Charged, coming to you this time from West London, Hounslow to be precise, where we're having a look at lamp posts. I love lamp posts. <laughs> they make me so happy. This is a lamp post that's recently been fitted with an LED light at the top, which is very sensible, uses less energy. And what's a little side effect of using less energy in a lamp post? You can take more out. Look at that. That is an Ubitricity charge socket in a lamp post in a London street. And we're going to have a look at that, and we're going to have a look at this, and then we're going to go into Berlin and have a chat with a man that started it all, and his name is Knut. So, Kieran, we're in Hounslow in West London, yep. standing next to a lamppost, which yes. may strike some people as slightly odd, but there is a reason, because this is, a, a, this is an exciting new, <laughs> new life for lampposts. It is for us, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they've recently all been converted to LED, which right. frees up some of the power available. Ah, so that is part of the the story in a way. Yes, I think it allows us to get more power out of the lamp column. Right. In effect. So there is already electricity lines underneath the pavement here. It's already been done. It goes up there to light the streets at night. Yeah. Then Ubertricity have really very cleverly developed this little door, which is such a simple idea, isn't it? Exactly, yeah. As a local authority, it's, it, the previous solutions where we installed kind of like a bespoke sort of stand, yeah. they are quite expensive whenever you do the civil's work. So to right. make use of an existing kind of electricity right. source, so you didn't have to dig up any pavements or exactly. install anything. Yeah. It's already and here. in terms of like visual clutter, you know, it's a nice street. Yeah. Um, and certainly uh, in areas where we have kind of heritage lampposts and things like that, putting in ultra modern 21st yeah. century technology, it's not going to look great. No. It's not going to go down well. So that was kind of an advantage for us. It strips out costs. It looks better. Right. Um, and it, uh, because it strips out costs, it allows us to put more of them in. Uh, we're installing them at a ratio of uh, three sockets to every one person that requests one. Because what we're not doing here is um, marking out a dedicated electric no. vehicle charging bay. And we want to see if we oversupply an area with three sockets, whether that's enough in different settings for people to be able to park outside them. Right. So until we get kind of, you know, more people with electric vehicles, we wanted to see there's a way that we could do it, which didn't... Necessitate having a special bay. Exactly, or exactly. Yeah. And what's nice for us as well is that Instead of this having loads of complicated kit in it, um, that goes in the cable. In the ca and there's yeah. no reason it couldn't be in the car um, yeah. in future. Anyone can just plug into that. And if they've you got that, that cable, you have to have that cable. Yeah. But if you've got that cable, you can plug into any of them. You don't have to have exactly. plug into one yeah. specific one. So Patrick, you live on a street in West London where everyone would say, oh, it's not practical to have an electric car because there's nowhere to charge it. Yes. And, and yet you've got an electric car. <laughs> So it's very simple. You contact the electricity company, which is uh, Ubertricity. They sign you up, you fill in a form. They send you this cable and you give your credit card details, right. etc. You just plug it in and, and it charges. And it charges. So you don't have to So you didn't have to do any no buttons code, on that? Because no that, got, that has got buttons and codes on it's it. It's got lots not, of things on it, but you, you don't, don't have you to don't do anything. anything. And it came with no instructions. Right. Um, so <laughs> I, d I did send them an email and they were very good. Yeah. They said, no, just plug it in and it's right. fine. And uh, I did that and it charged away straight away, right. first time. So then you'll get, what, do you get like a monthly bill? Yeah, so every month they email me uh, a list of all my charging events, how many kilowatt hours I've purchased, right. um, and, uh, and they just take the money straight right. from my account. And do you know what they charge per kilowatt hour? I, mean, have you got I think it was 13 pence. Right, okay, yeah, so it's not, a, it's not an excessive, it's a, it's, well, relatively I, speaking, that's a low, a low cost per kilowatt hour. Yeah, I've done, I think I've done about 3,000 3, miles in the last, couple of months right. um, and I think I've spent £130 on right. electricity. Right. I've got to say, Knut, this is one of the most exciting, really simple changes I've seen with electric cars and how you charge them. It is, it's so obvious now. It wasn't obvious before you did it, but it, now it's very obvious. So can you explain roughly what we're looking at here? We're looking at an old lamppost. So what we have here is a standard automotive charging socket yeah. with all you need for what we call mode three charging, and there's an electronic lock. In the best case, it's really, it's, 30, 20 to 30 minutes operation to get old, to get the old door yeah. out and fit the new one that holds the socket in. You also need some safety um, equipment and eventually you need a meter and internet and all that, that makes you part of the smart grid. And so the basic challenge is to fit into that. So actually we are proud to be the smallest. 
So right. we fit into even the smallest and we have a unique approach to achieve that. So the controls then and the metering and everything is done from this box. This is the clever bit. It's basically a crossover from a simple smartphone and a simple smart meter built into the standard charging cable. But if you plug it in, this piece here starts talking to the socket. Right. Both components wake up, they talk all the wire, and this bit asks the sockets for its unique name. Right. So for billing and access management, we need to know who, oh, right. that means which cable, it's yeah. yours. Yeah. So your cable on what socket. Socket yeah. both have a name, a unique number. Right. And then we have everything we need. We know which socket, which cable. Yeah. And when the car's then charging, we get the data, the timing, the distribution of electricity over the half the hours in right. the UK, and then we get everything to send a bill eventually. Yeah. Right. So if we have a borrower that have concerns that it's never about cost, it's always about parking, right. and they say, no reserve base, no. Yeah. we say, no, you don't have to. Yeah. You know, we make this ubiquitous. That means if, if every streetlight is equipped, yeah. why would we reserve for parking? Yeah. And since, you know, since it's 10 times cheaper than one standard one, right. yeah, including installation and planning yeah. at least, yeah, that's the way to move forward, we think. Well, that's all we've got time for for this episode of Fully Charged. Thank you very much for watching. There's still some charging going on here. We're just going to leave it to do its thing. Uh, please do subscribe to Fully Charged and uh, have a look at the Patreon link underneath. We really appreciate all the support we get from our wonderful patrons. And uh, as always, if you have been, thank you for watching.